to read out the menu for the week. Yeah. Positive behaviour support, I think, historically, has been seen as people who present a challenge. But actually, positive behaviour support is about keeping people in a really happy place where they're comfortable and happy. It's an effective and practical way of managing problems that are created through challenging behaviour. And the ways in which that occurs is, is generally in three stages. Firstly, it would be understanding the reason behind the behaviour and the function of the behaviour. So what is the person trying to communicate? Once you've been able to establish that, you then look at the environment to make sure that the houses and the living environments that people are in are suited to their needs in order for them to have the best quality of life. And essentially, it's around teaching people new skills so they do not need to display the challenging behaviour and they learn alternative ways of dealing and coping with those behaviours. The role of the PBS team is to ensure that all staff coming to work for HFT have an understanding of what PBS is. The training comes in different formats. We deliver positive behaviour support training which would essentially be part of building the plan and enabling staff to understand the plan. So all staff put onto the introduction to PBS, which is obviously some theory and some practical, low level kind of breakaway techniques. Following on from that, it would include positive behaviour management training, which is the more reactive element of the training, and that we can evidence that the person is having the best quality of life possible. The PBS plan is read and signed and agreed by everybody involved. PBS is very much based on the individual and the length and breadth of, of the PBS process is dependent on the nature and the needs of the person. How it should be used is a PBS is put in place, it's shared with the staff, it's shared with the families and carers and the individual themselves obviously. We work alongside all professionals that are involved in the person's care which include a number of individuals general practitioners, psychiatrists, psychologists, occupational therapists, speech and language therapists and all that would then feed in to the positive behaviour support plan for that person. Part of a PBS plan might even be um, some emotion card that they might use. So that might be part of a person's PBS plan and um, that they're identifying actually I'm feeling upset now. The other terms we use is a traffic light system and it is literally a guide for staff to highlight um, where a person is and how, how they're presenting and how they're feeling in that moment. It's about being patient, being understanding, recognising that behaviour should not be seen as a negative. Behaviour is a form of communication. Positive behaviour support is very much one of the essential parts of, of what we do. It forms part of the fusion model under specialist skills. It's one element of many that HFT adopt. Ultimately, it's about having the person at the centre and ensuring that all of our staff can work in a person-centred, active support way and respecting the person to have the best quality of life possible. We might be busy today. We might be busy. Yeah. Yeah. Later. I can bring them later on. Yeah.